Good afternoon everyone. Today is a day of uh, rain mixed with snow, so we're not going to be able to do any work today. I don't know if we're going to be able to do any work tomorrow or not, but so we're in the garage. I got the Tiger Cub here, and a couple of videos ago, or three videos ago, I'm not sure when it was, uh, if you've been following along, you watched me try and push a whole pile of leaves off the trailer, and it did not work. So I said I had bought, purchased something for the front of the trailer, and I did. For the front of the trailer? For the front of the mower. And what I have is a plow that uh, someone was selling on uh, Facebook, uh, whatever that thing is there. Can't think of the name of it. Anyhow, you know what I'm talking about. Marketplace, there we go. And uh, so what I'm going to do is modify it for this mower. Um, things are not going to work out exactly as I'm going to plan on doing it, but I already have an idea what I'm going to do with it and uh, make it work so I can push up leaves or push leaves off the trailer. And I have a couple areas I have to, have to push the leaves up or back to get them um, out of my way so I can keep right on up piling up there because those are the jobs that are on site. So uh, let's get started on this project. So the first thing, this is angled, which I am going to keep this and I'm going to cut this off about right here and then shorten this all up because I want to get this blade as close to these wheels as possible, which that's where the blade's got to come back to because I want to be able to back up without having any problems. So, and then uh, when I bought this, it was, this is all I bought. There was nothing else with it. And there's a bar that this attaches to and latches down. So, which is spring loaded and easy to take care of. And this is a bar for, I'm presuming, a handle that I don't have and, or I need. So, I'm just going to take the, and cut this off and weld it to either, probably down here on the bottom. Because, uh... The way this is set up, and it's going to have to, or the winch is going to have to pick it up, and I don't want to have a binding. And I only have to get it off the ground six, eight inches, but uh, it should all work out pretty decent if I do it right. So the first thing is, let's get this cut off. Okay, now the first thing where I'm going to cut this off is, you feel where this is distorted, and it stops about right there. And you start feeling it getting bigger, and so I'm going to go about right here. And that's where I'm going to cut it. So, let's start cutting. Okay, so you know how things go sometimes, you don't plan on it. Um, I did not plan on what I just saw or what I set this all up, but uh, let's take a look at what I just, or what just happened here. So when I cut this off from here, uh, can you see that? Very nice, you can. I figured it was going to be about like this. Well, when I do that, about where it's going to be at, As you can see where it's at, it puts it out past the tires, so uh, my life just got easier. I'm just going to unbolt this, drill two holes in there, and then bolt it up. And then just cut that bar off of the pipe there when it's, or get that bar off of the tube once I get that all done so I can weld it up over here on this. So, uh, life just got a little easier, and this is a little faster. Nine sixteenths or half inch. A finish. So it is threaded in, which I will not be doing that. Or maybe I will be, I'm not sure yet. So 
So that was a sleeve inside there. I might have a little bit of tough time drilling a hole that size, but I'll see what I can find. If I have to go to the store and get a drill bit that size, so be it. And then there is a bushing. So this might be a little bit more extravagant than I had planned, but I'll see what I can do with this. nice about a plasma cutter. Yeah, it's hot, but not as hot as it would have been if I was using a cutting torch. And for those of you who want to know, I'm using a flap disc. I like them a lot better than a grinding wheel because uh, it leaves it nice smoother and, and works just about as fast. And they seem to last a lot longer. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be. I just got to make sure the sleeve will go through there. I might have to clean a little bit on the inside, but uh, it should go pretty good. Okay, I guess I probably should have measured this before I cut it off, but eh, it's going to work. Got to measure how far in uh, this has got to be put into here. It's probably about right there. I guess I could guess I kind of want to get an idea. And uh, we're looking like a quarter inch. So, probably by about an inch, okay. Quarter inch, about an inch, about an, let's see, it's three quarter. Should be about right there. Not perfect, but neither is my cut going to be. Yeah, like I said, I could have drilled it out, but 
This is actually more fun. I'd rather do it this way. What I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to run a tack or put a tack weld on here, take the clamp off, and make sure it fits in the plow right here. The bushing fits in. Oops. This bushing fits in through here and also on the sleeve because uh, this bushing fits to the top of there and holds us in. So let's give it a shot. stitch weld around this outside because the plasma kind of got out there too far so I'm going to grind this flat so I don't have no interference there and we should be all good because this ain't coming out. side because the hole got bigger but still it's not bad so uh, let's uh I got one hole to drill in there for the pit so let's get this hooked up and uh, see what I can get for a hole it's got it all ground off
for me. Let's get the bolt shoved in here. way tighter than it was, but that's okay, it works for me. Okay, you see we slide that up there. I was not planning on this, but that fits in there. And that's about the right angle. That looks about level. Oh boy, this is working out pretty decent. So I think I go up a little bit higher. I should be able to weld the, that bar to the bottom of that, um, yeah, bracket there. Actually, it's a receiver hitch. Yeah, this worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. a little bit tight but I think it'll work its way in there. So next thing to do I gotta drill a hole in there. Okay I do have to drill a half inch hole. I bought a new set of uh, Milwaukee cobalt drill bits here a while ago. Let's see if a half inch drill will drill through this without build, drilling a pilot hole. If it doesn't go through there, then we'll put a pilot hole in it, but let's see. Put it on slow. Yeah, I think I'll put a pilot hole through there. Be a little more comfortable. pick this up. I'm just going to put a welder and old muffler clamp on there and it should work out fine. Okay, 
Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but there is snow mixed in with that rain. So it's coming, it's cooling down. It's going to get all icy. Hopefully I don't need to salt in the morning, but I don't think I will. Okay, before we get too carried away, let's get this thing started up and see if it'll work. sweat my butt off here. I had to turn my camera off. It just got too hot in here. So um, that is going to work. This uh, plow is sticking out farther than I wanted. Uh, so I'm just going to have to take it off when I pull it on a trailer to get everything else to fit on there. But um, it shouldn't be no big deal. You know, I'll lose about that much more room on the trailer. But I'm pushing off leaves and actually I'm going to be pushing up piles with it. The only other problem I have with it or thought about is a little loose up in there so I might have to do something different with that later on we'll see how that works out I don't know if it'll work out or not uh, I might be fine I don't know we'll find out uh, here hopefully if we don't get snowed out this weekend because it's supposed to snow all weekend one to three tonight and uh, some well actually no it's not supposed to snow tomorrow so one to three tonight it's supposed to be like 40 tomorrow so but for the next four or five days after that, a uh, chance of snow in the morning and then 40s or somewhere around 40 during the day. So it's going to be kind of a mess. And then uh, Vicki asked, well, what about the tire spinning? And I told her, I said, we'll just use speed for lack of traction. So um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Yeah, the tires are going to spin a little bit here and there, but I'm not going to be pushing mountains of uh, uh, material when I'm anywhere else but on a trailer. So it should work out pretty good. If it doesn't, well, we'll just have to fix it from there and make it heavier. So... Um, that's going to be the end of uh, my video for today. Please leave a comment on the comment section below. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified when the next uh, video is up. And everybody have a good evening and we will see you on the next project or yard.